If there was ever a time to pivot towards change, folks, that time is now. Now, the ROI of the world evolves around money. And don't get me wrong, money can be an enabler for really amazing things. But our return on investment has always been the souls of mankind. And I'm not saying change our message. We've got a great message. But we may need to change the vehicle it's traveling in. We may need to change the container we serve it in. And the way we do this is to start the process of reimagining solutions. For example, in the past, or now, our annual church planning meetings for the yearly calendar are usually a couple hours long, and you leave the table with big sales, biolithons, Easter icons, food, fun, and fellowship. And here's what I found to be true. The church has dedicated little, if any time, for innovation. And while we're on that subject, replicating other people's ideas does not make you innovative. No. And just to be clear, having a creative idea is cool, but having a successful creative idea moves you towards innovation. And guess what? Innovation changes the world. Our best attempts at creativity have been accidental, incidental. Wait a minute, hold on. We did create the, the position of pastor of creative arts. That's right, right. And that's when everybody said, Thank God, now I don't have to be creative. But that's what creativity is. It's collaboration where everyone from all disciplines, the secretary, the janitor, the creative arts pastor, the business manager, yeah, the business manager, are actively engaged in the creative process. And it's not a yearly meeting. It's an ongoing daily, weekly, monthly experience. It's imperative that we take an idea, an idea, add to it, subtract from it, walk away from it, come back to it, stretch it, pull it till we discover the best ideas. Next time on Creative Thought Design. Unfortunately, we have been satisfied. Mm -hmm. We sacrifice what could have been the best idea because we settled for the first and only idea that popped out of somebody's mouth.